Hey guys, this is Get Tomorrow, and welcome back to Let's Play Okami. In the last episode, well, uh, we did some exploring in Wepaker. I think that's how you pronounce it. I still don't know, and well, I think since we did everything, we might as well backtrack, because I don't know. If we can't go forward, I guess we can only go back. At least that's kind of how it kind of works in action adventure puzzle games, at least. Okay, so apparently that's what I was supposed to do all along. That would have saved me like 10 minutes. And the person's name is Kai. Oh my god, it's Kai from Beyblade. No, no, no. <laughs> and it's like a yellow puppy or looks like a dragon dog. Seriously, that face looks like a dragon and it looks like a dog. How the hell? I suppose I don't want to get too into it, because, well, it's like the rocket ship. It's probably about, like, Japanese folklore and whatnot. Well, I'll be. I haven't seen you in ages. Masoon, it is you! I thought I heard you talking to Simickle, the pickle. I just thought I'd come back to see how things were after my trip. I can't believe what's happened to the village since I've been gone. And that Simickle's still as stubborn as ever. When did he become the chief anyways? Well, a lot's happened this past year. Look, you'll freeze if you stay outside too long. Why don't you come rest at my place? And bring your white wolf too. Oh yeah. Not really. Well, apparently we get to go rest inside someone's house for once. That's awesome, because it's been a while since we actually got to go inside someone's house, and I think I've seen something just fall. Okay, never mind. I'm just being delusional. <laughs> At least the cold is a bit uh, more bearable inside. It's really been ages, hasn't it, son? And it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance as well, Wolfie. I'm Kai. I can transform from squirrel to dog. Oh, that's got a little antler head. But how does the antler head become a dragon? Ah, damn, dropped another chuck. Yeah. This here's Amaterasu, otherwise known as No Bath Ami. Oh yeah. Now let's cut to the chase. There's so much I want to ask you. First of all, about those demons that are plaguing Kamui. What the heck brought them on? No one knows for certain. Ooh, more artwork. I love it. Those twin demons, Lechku and Nechku. They were sealed away by a brave Oina hero years and years ago. And they have been enshrined at the Wawaku Shrine ever since. Wawaku? Wawaku, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that, whatever. And then one day they suddenly stirred and went berserk. A terrible blizzard descended upon Kamui. Kamui set out to the shrine at the top of Ezefuji to pacify them. But they nearly killed him. He was no match for their evil magic. So Mikkel managed to get him just in time and bring him back. Then they got even more violent and turned Ezefuji into a glacier. Looks an awful lot like the Dark Force or Dark Power. Well, it's not Dark Force, it's not Fantasy Star 4. They unleashed a blizzard to smother Kamui in a layer of ice and snow. Chief Simickle is trying to protect the village while Kemu recovers. But there's nothing we can do against those demons. You really are in a fix of old man. Kemu's prayers don't work. The day before the twin demons suddenly went berserk, we heard what sounded like an earthquake from Shinsu Field to the south. On that fateful day, Kemu declared that evil force from the south had made its way here to Kamui. Kamui is something some uh, is sometimes called the land of hidden darkness. And there's a legend that says all demons are born from this land. I wonder if all the world's demons are coming back to Kamui now. A black shadow passed overhead from the south recently. I vanished into the Wawaku Shrine as if it had been swallowed up. Actually, I think the blizzard's been stronger since then. Oh crap, we're apparently killing Canada by killing the monsters in, like, other parts of the world. 
Although, I suppose it's good because we're kind of where all the monsters are demons origin from, so I suppose it's progress. God, there's something else I want to ask you. What's Oki doing with the sacred sword, Katone? I saw him with it outside the village. How could old man Kamu let him take it at a time like this? Oh, you met Oki? He left here with our sacred sword the morning after it all started. <clears throat> That's a pretty cool artwork as well. As soon as the Mikko was chosen to take Kamu's place as chief, Oki just took the sword and left without permission. So he's a thief. People from the village have tried to persuade him to bring it back. But Oki chases them off. He says he'll defeat the demons himself. He wants to shoulder the burden. He just walked away with the sacred sword? He didn't even ask permission. Well, everyone admits Oki's a great warrior. Even Simikul does. So that means it's alright to steal from sacred um, weapons from the village. Next thing you know, he'll be um, taking money, eating wherever he wants, drinking, and he'll just be like another Susano. But it's impossible to defeat those demons all by himself. I just don't know why he did it now of all times. Kind of makes me wonder, what the hell is Susano? Like, we haven't seen him for like a good like chunk of the game, because I don't think we've seen him at all for the second arc. One last thing, Kai. It's about Simikul, the pickle. He seems awfully nervous about protecting old man Kemu. It's because of Oki, isn't it? Well, everyone's angry at Oki for taking the sword like that. But you see, well, Samikul the Pickle would never say it. He believes in Oki more than anyone else does. He's convinced that Oki will come back and help the village. So then why do you have to snap at us like that? He even told Furball here to get lost. I mean, like, we're a god. You can't tell a god to get lost. It's just asking to get beat down. <sighs> well, the day after the village was attacked by the demons, Lyka went, uh, Lyka went missing. <gasps> Lyka? As in Lyka, your... That's right, my little sister. We scourged the village and surrounded the area. But we couldn't find her. She just vanished. Oh boy, the plot thickens. Apparently, they kidnapped a little girl, and the town's on Amber Alert, so everyone's locked up in their house. Uh, that's so sad, though. Like, why would they kidnap a little girl? Seriously, why would they? Look at that. Even as soon as I'm like, saying it word for word, we don't know for sure if the demons are behind her disappearance, but they would certainly have a reason to seek her out. You see, Laika. Attracts pedophiles. In other words, demons. Oh my god. How does a little girl hold the fate of the village in her hands? What did you force on such a young person? You monsters! Wow, the fate of the village. And we hear a wolf howling in the distance. Oh my god, sounds like a coyote just found the chicken coop. I've heard, I've heard that and seen it. Like, chickens get killed before, so... That's where I've seen it from. Oh, that was Camus Hal. He's calling to you, son. He summons the both of you. How does he summon us if we don't know we're here? Well, I suppose some Mikkel wasn't completely useless. He probably helped us out. He just said we're here. So let's go there. and Let's probably jump down here and wait a minute. There's a little ledge there. <coughs> I'm gonna go on a limb say there's no invisible wall there, so let's try jumping on it. Oh. Okay, it works. Well, I suppose there has to be at least praise here. It is nighttime, I think. Let's go check it out. Is there anything to dig in? Oh, there's a chest. See anything else? Anything else? I just want to double check. I'm pretty sure I've already missed plenty of stuff in the game, and I want to miss even more. Ah, ha, ah, ah. ha. Slow down, slow down. You're not wearing skates. You can't skate like a Canadian. Because you're a wolf. And Wait. I got a sun fragment? Wow. Normally we kind of got to go a little bit more out of our way to get these, but... Hmm. I believe we have two out of three of those. Let's see. Yeah, we got two out of three. So, hooray, we can get another one soon. As well, I need, I think, like four more heart containers and we're capped. One or two is from praise, and the rest would be sun fragments then. Oh, wait, why did I jump off there? Can we, like, up more? I suppose it was worth it for the hard piece, but I kind of just, like backtracked a bit. 
So let's go up there. That's right. You better be angry that I, we get to go through. Ha! You know what? No. Yeah! Burn to a crisp. Yeah, I love that move. Sorry, I just do. Oh, look. It's a sleeping old man. Wait. He reminds me of that little dog in Seon City. And yes, I'm calling him a little dog because I already forgot his name. I have a really bad memory. I just cannot retain anything. How I retained a little bit of French, I'll never know. I can't speak it well, but I can at least know what they're saying. Somewhat. And that's speaking a lot for being in Western Canada, where we're not too far from the French. This is the village elder, old man Cameron, but looks like he might have already kicked the bucket. Hmm. How many times did Gramps tan my hide? Ah, this is no time to be dredging up the past. Let's tan his hide for revenge. Oh god, zombie! Who was that bad mouthing me? Looks like there are some hides to be tanned. Oh god, an old man's angry. He's gonna tan our hides now. And apparently, we tanned his hide from the front. What happened? Was that a dream? Was I sleepwalking again? Oh uh, god, I gotta lay off those pills. Last time I woke up on North Ryushima coast, they were looking for me for weeks. She's old man. Snooze a lot. Tans hides in his sleep too. Why? Is that little Asun? Man, I haven't recognized you because your ass ain't red for me tanning it. So then I wasn't dreaming. Whoa! What the hell's with that gut? He's got a belly button like a tied up balloon. Jeez. It just sticks out on its own like it's its own separate entity. I must say, soon, you've grown. Barely at all since I last saw you. Oh, oh snap! Ah, put a cork in it, Gramps. Did you summon us just because you wanted something to clobber? If so, we'll beat you to death. We're a wolf, we can eat you. Even though you can t turn into a wolf, too. Ah, uh, yes, let's get down to business, eh? Hey! Oh, wait. We, yeah, we are in Canada, so I suppose he's allowed to say A. Because, you know, um... You can only say A when you're asking a question like, How's it going, A? Eh? You can't say, um... That sucks, A. Eh? It is the, wife wolf, uh, the white wolf I wish to speak to. I speak with. You've no doubt already heard this from Cam... Uh, I was gonna say Camoe, but it's Kai. Getting ahead of myself. Her little sister, Laika, has gone missing. Yeah, 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 we know about the Amber Alert. What are you gonna do about it? Ugh, I wanna record a turtle sonata. I'm not saying that I don't like recording Okami, just my controllers are both dead and I'm out of o not Okami footage, Eternal Sonata footage. It sucks because I even bought Wild Arms 2 on the PSN like a, a day ago or a little bit earlier today. And I was playing it and it's fun and I wanna play it and I wanna record a turtle sonata. Because the Arya Temple is really fun, but it has like so many battles, it's ridiculous. So I'll probably have to cut some out. Huh, but don't you think that you're exaggerating a bit? No, we're not exaggerating. What are you talking about? I'm kind of just fading in and out talking with the text. I really don't need to because it's kind of straightforward text. I could just ramble on and... Wow. That's one mighty figure going up to this guy going, You're number one! And then the sun just shines, making it all cinematic and awesome. Oh, spiritual power far beyond my own. Ha ah, hi, you got beat by a little girl. No wonder why you're no longer the village chief, because you could not live down the defeat. That kind of rhymed. Huh. Well, like his power can defeat the demons? Well, I suppose that's kind of why they kidnapped her. That'd make a lot more sense. And apparently there's another reason, oh boy. For Ezefuji, the protector dared you. Can we, oh my god, I gotta stop yawning. Okay, yeah. Wait, Ezefuji's two born uh, active volcanoes? Well, yeah, I suppose, because it's like Mount Fuji. Each year I recite the volcano. 
volcanic incantation and wow that artwork makes him look uglier than he already is I just gotta say that because it kinda does and well we're also out of time so next time on let's play Okami we'll just continue this little chat with uh, Kemu the tan hiding chief of the village so I'll see you next time guys bye